table. Practice problem two. It reads, find the height of the tide at Port Wentworth, GA on the 5th of October, 1983 at 840 DST ZD plus four. All right, let's get into it. We're looking for the height of the tide at Port Wentworth. So we're looking for the height at Port Wentworth, GA, 5 October, 5th of October, at 1840. At 1840 DST. Don't forget about your DST. So what's the height of the tide at Port Wentworth, GA, 5th of October, 1840 DST? Let's set this up. We know we're going to need the reference station. What's the reference station? And then we are going to get the differences from table two. Actually going to get the reference station from table two as well. So the difference is that there's differences in time of the high and time of the low. And then differences in the height of the high and of the low tide between the reference station and Port Wentworth, GA. So now we have our the information from the problem. We can jump into our tide tables. Okay, this is the current tables. We're forward in the book, and here we are in the index to the tide tables. We're looking for Port Wentworth, L-M-N-O-P-P-P-H-P-O. -P -P Here's all the ports, and we're Wentworth, so at the bottom, Port Wentworth, GA. 27.15. Okay, I'm going to record that. Port Wentworth, 27.15. 27.15. Good. And now we jump into table twos and we find 27.15. Okay, 36, 28, 26. 2751, we're on the right page. 2715, 26, 20, 9, 25, 27, 11, 15. Here we are. 2715, Port Wentworth. So here's all the differences. And here's, it says, on Savannah, page 104, that's our reference station. Savannah, page 104. Okay, and now the differences. Here we are. You see differences, time high, difference time low, difference height high, difference height low. So these are the four columns. We're all set up to record those. And now we have plus 0, 0.33. So plus zero, 33 minutes, and plus zero, 41, plus zero, 41. There's our time. And remember, I always add this in right away, DST. I've messed up this problem before, actually, because I didn't consider DST. When you consider DST, you just add an hour. So we'll add an hour to these right now, and we'll say, one hour and 33 minutes and one hour and 41 minutes and this is we're adding these good now we have our time our height negative 0 0.4 our height is negative 0 0.4 and 0 0 0 0.0, 0. okay now we have our differences and we can jump to our reference station on page 104 and get some more numbers. A reference station, we're going to get the high and the low for the reference station of Savannah from table 1. So page 104, and we're October 5th on page 104. So here's the page numbers. It's going to jump around because it's excerpt 106. Whoops. 104. And we're, we need October. So here, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So October 5th. 
what's that look like? So October 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now here's our numbers. So we need to see 1840. Where's 1840 land? But remember this time correction. So we need to apply these time corrections to here and make sure we still land. So 1356, that's basically 14. And if we added 133, no, that's a negative, that's a low. So 1356 is minus 9, that's a low. 1356 plus 140 is basically, that brings it to 1540, which is good. 1840. It's going to be between 1356 and 1959. Let's record those. So 1356 is minus 0 0.9. 1356 is minus 0 0.9. And then 1959 is 9.3. 1959 is 9.3. Okay, now we have our information to crunch some numbers. Let's crunch some numbers. So that minus 0 0.9 is a low height. So minus 0 0.9. This comes to minus 0 0.9. And 9.3. Right up here. 9.3. So if we're minus 0 0.4 from 9.3, we are 8.9, 8.9, and we can check that because 8.9, 9.0, 9.1, 9.2, 9 9.3, and that's far away, good. So we have these height corrections. We need to find the range. The range of this tide equals 8.9, minus a negative 0 0.9. So if we subtract a negative, we add it. And I'll show you on a number line. But let's just add these. 9 plus 9 is 18. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9.8. I know it's just adding and subtracting, but it can be a little bit strange why you would add this 0 0.9 to get the range. And this number line really helps. If this is zero and the high tide is over here at 8.9, you have this distance to cover, right? And if this is negative 0 0.9, well, it is over in these negative numbers. It's over here. So what happens is we need to cover this whole distance. So here's the negative number, 0 0.9. Here's the positive number. 8.9 goes to 0, and then we go beyond 0. So we end up adding these two together, adding 8.9 plus 0 0.9 to get 9.8 total. Good. Now let's get our time. So this is a low tide. We can tell because it's small. 1356 is the low. 1356 is the low. And 1959 is the high. 1959 is the high. Let's add these. 9, 10, 11, 12. Carry the 1. That's 3, 4. Plus 5 is 9. 19 and 1 is 20. We can't have 92 minutes, can we? So we're going to take 60 out of there and add an hour. So it's 21, 32 is the time of the high. And now 1 plus 6 is 7, 4 plus 5 is 9, 1 and 13 is 14. Well, we can't have 97 minutes, so we're going to take 60 out, add an hour, 15, and 97 minus 60 is 37. So our high was at 2132, our low was at 1537. What's the duration of this tide? Let's calculate that. Duration equals the big one, 2132, minus the small one, 15, 
37. To find the difference between these, well, we can't take 37 from 32. We need to borrow, and that we borrow 60. So this is like 92, but we still can't take 7 from 2, so we're going to borrow from that 9, and it's going to be 8 and 12. So 12 minus 7 is 5. 8 minus 3 is 5. Can't take 5 from 0, so this whole thing's going to turn to, this will turn to a 1, and this will be a 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 1 minus 1 is 0. 5 hours and 55 minutes is the duration. So our range is 9.8. Our duration is 5 hours and 55 minutes. The next thing we need to find before we can enter table 3 is the time from the nearest. So we need the time from nearest. Now is 1840, which one is it closer to? 15 or 21? Well, 15, 16, 17, 18, that's three hours and three minutes. Ha, look at this. See how it's 555? This is the whole duration. So three hours and three minutes is more than half of this. So we know it's going to be over here. We know it's going to be the nearest high. And so the nearest high is 2132. 2132 minus 1840. Okay, we can't take 40 from 32, can we? So we're going to borrow. Zero. This will be 92 now. Right, because we add 60. So 2 minus 0 is 2. 9 minus 4 is 5. And can't take this, so we're going to borrow. This will be a 1. This will be a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. So we are 2 hours and 52 minutes from the nearest tide, which is the high. So now we have the information to enter table three. What do we get from table three? From table three, we get the height of the tide at any time. I always bend the corner of table three so I can find it. It's on page 239. And now get it some straight edges. And we enter in here from duration of rise or fall. Our duration was 555. We go to the closest, which is 6. Okay. And now we go time from nearest high water or low water. That's these numbers. So time from is 252. Wow. 248, 252. We're closest to 248. So we cruise down this column for 248. And we come in at range of tide. The range of our tide was 9.8. So where are we? 9.8, that's basically 10. Okay. Here, 4.5 feet. What we got from table 3 was 4.5 feet. And now, what do we do? Do we add or subtract this? Well, we're time from nearest high. If we're at the high, we can't go any higher. We can only go lower. So this will be subtracted from the high. The height of the high was 8.9, we calculated. So 8.9 minus 4.5 should give us the height. 9 minus 5 is 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. 4. 4 Feet is the height of the tide, the height of the tide at Port Wentworth, GA, the 5th of October at 8.40 DST. Let's check. 4.4. Practice problem two. Problem two, we see 
4.4 right here, that's the closest one, is D. It's actually right on. So 2 is D. There we are. 2 is D. A couple more, three more of these I'll solve with you, and then you'll do two on your own. Don't get discouraged by these. Just keep patiently chugging away, doing all this adding and subtracting, and you'll, you'll get this. You just got to get the steps down. See you on number three.